Here's a quick test of the X9C103 digital potentiometer I bought recently. So the 103 is supposed to be a 10K pot, and right off the bat, I noticed, why am I seeing a 100K? One of the first things I wanted to test was, do I get access to the resistors without power applied to the circuit? And it looks like I can measure end-to-end -end resistance, but just not through the wiper. That needs to be part of the active circuit. So the first thing I ever did was take a meter and put it across the potentiometer from one end to the other. And on this one, I got 116K. So I took another one. I bought a set of 10. And this one's 89K. Both are within the datasheet plus or minus 20% tolerance of the resistors, but it's not 10K, it looks like it's 100K. So I wondered, did they send me the wrong part? I don't think so. That's a 103. After dropping the second one on the floor, it is also 103, 10K. And so is the one on the breadboard. So I'm just going to assume they are mislabeled parts. They seem to be 100K. It doesn't really matter to me. I just wanted them to work with and experiment with. So I'll just have to remember not to trust the label on this. I'll put these away. It has 99 resistors in there and 100 wiper tap points, including the lowermost one being directly to the RL or VL terminal and the uppermost being directly connected to the RHVH terminal. It looks like the part is only really talking about being powered by 5 volts, and the resistor terminals can only be a maximum of that same 5 volt supply. So if you are counting down, the wiper is going toward the RL, and if you're counting up, it's going toward RH. So we have those three terminals for the wiper, then we have VCC and ground. Then we have a chip select pin 7, which you bring low if you want to actually control the pot. Pin 2 controls whether you're counting up or down when you want to change the wiper position. And pin 1 is the increment active low. So every time you get a falling edge, you either change the wiper position up or down based on how pin 2 is set. So I've got a 5 volt bench supply coming to the circuit here and right now it's disconnected, VCC is not there, and the way I have it wired up, the chip select, I tied it low because I want the chip enabled so I can control it. The yellow wire is for the increment when I am trying to change the wiper, and since it's active low, I just use an arbitrary 100k resistor pull up, so it will be in standby when I'm not trying to change the wiper. The orange wire is the control of up or down count. So right now it's on VCC, which means I'll be counting up when I change the increment. The two white wires are the ends of the pot. So VH, the high side, as far as counting, when you're counting up, the wiper will go toward this VH terminal. V low is here, and the wiper itself is the brown wire. So to control the increment pulses, I'm just going to use a function generator. So I have the Regal function generator set to give me square waves with 4 volts peak to peak, just so I don't overshoot, at 3 hertz. So every second I go up or down by 3 levels in the pot. So with 5 volt power not applied to the chip, end-to-end -end resistance on this so-called 10K labeled pot, 101K, almost dead on to the 100K. So I'm going to apply power now and try the circuit. And when I check between the wiper terminal and VH, or the top of the resistor divider, so this powered on at 50K right in the middle of its wiper settings. I'm not sure if that's an arbitrary power on thing or if it's because that was the last setting stored and it's recalling automatically on power up. I didn't really read the data sheet too thoroughly to see how it really works. I just want to see it running for now and see that I can change the resistance. 
So right now the orange wire being pulled high, when I increment this, it should count up. So if I put the, the probes from the wiper to the V low, and then I start incrementing, it should be moving the wiper to the V high. I should see an increasing resistance between the wiper and V low as it gets farther away from the low terminal. So let me hook up the signal generator and get some square waves in at 3 hertz. So when I plug this in, every one second I should see the reading go up by 3k. Because if there's 100 steps to go and it's going equally throughout a 100k pot, then one increment means 1k change. So 3k per second. And that looks about right. So supposedly when you get to the end of the count, up or down, it does not wrap around, so you'll be stuck at the top. So let's see as we get to 100. So, whoa, it's exactly 100.0k on this meter. And it's still getting pulses, but it is not wrapping around. So let me take that away. And now it's just staying, not counting. I was having some trouble keeping the system powered and trying to just unplug and replug the up-down mode. It would just slam all the way down <laughs> for some reason toward the R-low. I don't know what's going on there, but again, this is just a prototype setup. Maybe I need some decoupling capacitors here and there. I'm probably just generating all kinds of noise. So what I figured out that works for this setup, I'm keeping the clock going and I'm just gonna power the chip up. Now this is probably not a good idea for reliability because I'm technically driving an unpowered chip, but whatever, this is just the workbench. So when I plug this power in, it's gonna start in the middle at 50K and then start moving the wiper down toward our low, which is what I'm probing, so it should go from 50k down toward the minimum 30-something ohms. And here goes. So, we start at around 50k. Looks like we're going down by about 3k a second. And when we get to zero, yep, it maxes out at the bottom, which is now 29 ohms of the expected wiper resistance. It's not wrapping around, it's still being clocked, so that's good. And it looks like, because I'm able to measure the resistance directly with an ohm meter, and it gives me proper readings, it shows that it's acting like a true passive resistor, and we're not having issues with some sort of equivalent resistance impedance with an, a current in there and things like that which would screw up a meter because you're not really supposed to measure resistance in a powered circuit. So it shows that this is a true resistor, at least it acts like one, and so that has some good potential. No pun intended. But we have to keep in mind we should only be using this pot as more of a reference set point, not something that's actually more like a load resistor. For example, if we're going to use this to limit the current through an LED, where we might be drawing a couple of milliamps or more, the data sheet says the wiper current should be no more than, I think, 4.4 milliamps, and the power dissipation for the part should be no more than 10 milliwatts, something like that, which is really low, so I don't even think we can draw the full current through the wiper without exceeding the power dissipation. So I guess they mean intermittently, maybe you can draw up to 4.4 milliamps, but you don't want to keep that going. If I was going to use this for anything, it's probably just maybe a set point on an op amp where it's not going to really draw much current. And if I actually wanted to drive something, maybe what you could do is a unity gain op amp driver buffer on the output of this, so your actual resistor divider voltage will be seen by the op amp and translated to the output and nicely buffered so you can drive something else. So overall, I'm happy with this part, but buyer beware, <laughs> at least if you're buying on eBay, if you expect to get the part value that you've ordered, maybe you should order one of each and hope that you get one of them 
to be the correct value. These 10K labeled parts seem to be 100K, so, well, at least they work.